Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. My name is Varak Kumar. Today we are going to solve a problem from trigonometry exercise 11.1 first problem. Uh, see here uh, in right angle triangle ABC 8 centimeters comma 15 centimeters comma 17 centimeters or the lengths of AB comma BC and CA respectively. Then find sin A, cos A and tan A. So he has given the lengths of right angle triangle ABC is asking to find a sin A, cos A and tan A. So let it is ABC is a right angled triangle. So he has given AB is equal to 8 centimeters. Yes, this is AB is 8 centimeters and BC equal to 15 centimeters. CA equal to 17 centimeters. So this is the longest side hence angle B must be right angle. So CA is 17 he has given the angle opposite to hypotenuse will must be right angle CA angle B is right angle. So he is asking to find a sin A. So if we know the lengths of all the three sides we can find all the six trigonometric ratios. So sin A is asking sin A is equal to. So what we know about sin A? sin a so sin a equal to what opposite side by hypotenuse so here uh, sin a select opposite side which is opposite to angle a so this is angle a opposite side to angle a is 15 hypotenuse is 17 so 15 by 17 how much it is 15 by 17 15 by 17 uh, this is sin a so next cos a cos a equal to what so we know cos a equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so here since angle is a so we have to select the adjacent side of angle a so adjacent side of angle a is a b so a b by c a it is so once we have to write a b by c a so here a b is 8 centimeters and c a is 17 so cos a equal to 8 by 17 so and also is asking to find as tan a tan a equal to what opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side just uh, you have to observe the angle so which oppose for which angle you have to select opposite side here uh, tan a is there so here it is a so bc becomes opposite side ab becomes adjacent side that is very very important Suppose if he asks uh, sin C, suppose if he asks sin C, sin C opposite side, then AB becomes opposite side, uh, BC becomes adjacent side. So angle is very important here. So tan A equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So opposite side to angle A is BC, adjacent side to angle A is AB. So it is BC by AB. BC by AB. So BC value is how much? BC is 15 and AB is 8. So he is asking to find a sin A, cos A and tan A. Sin A equal to 15 by 17, cos A equal to 8 by 17, tan A equal to 15 by 8. So very easy. So this is the first problem. So next we have to solve second problem. So this is second problem in exercise 11.1. Uh, see here what he is asking. The sides of a right angle triangle PQR are PQ equal to 7 centimeters, PR equal to 25 centimeters and angle Q equal to 90 degrees respectively. Then find tan P minus tan R. So see here in right angle triangle PQR angle Q equal to 90 degrees. So let it is a right angle triangle. So right angle is at Q. And also he has given PQ equal to 7. This is PQ, it is 7 centimeters. So next he has given PR equal to 25 centimeters. This is PR, PR equal to 25 centimeters. Uh, he is asking to find as tan P minus tan R. In right angle triangle PQR, angle Q equal to 90 degrees, PQ equal to 7 centimeters, PR equal to 25 centimeters. So therefore according to Pythagoras theorem we have According to Pythagoras theorem, we have PQ square plus QR square equal to PR square. 
a square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides. So PQ square plus QR square equal to PR square. So we have PQ equal to 7. So it is a 7 square plus we have to find QR square. So write QR square is equal to PR square is 25 square. So from this we have to find QR value. So 7 square is 7 into 7 49. So write this QR square as usual. But 25 square is 25 into 25 625. So now QR square equal to take 49 to the right side it becomes minus. So here already 625 is there. So becomes minus 49. So 625 minus 49 we get 576. 576 therefore QR is equal to QR is equal to square root of 576 we can get 24 qr equal to how much 24 centimeters so now we have the lengths of all the three sides up so he is asking to find us tan p minus tan r so first to find tan p tan p is equal to so opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side opposite side to angle p so here it is angle p opposite side by adjacent side so that is see here uh, what we get select opposite side to angle p is qr qr divided by adjacent side to angle p is pq qr divided by pq so here qr equal to how much so qr is 24 divided by pq is how much pq is 7 so tan p equal to 24 by 7 and also is asking to find as tan r so tan r is equal to first we have to find tan p and tan r then after tan p minus tan r so in the same way tan r here it is angle r so opposite side to angle r opposite side to angle r divided by adjacent side to angle r adjacent side to angle r so here the angles are different then the opposite side and adjacent side changes here so for uh, with respect to angle r opposite side is pq here adjacent side is qr here so here uh, opposite side is pq uh, divided by adjacent side is qr so pq value is how much 7 divided by qr value is how much 24 so he is asking to find as tan p minus tan r therefore tan p minus tan r is equal to tan p minus tan r is equal to so tan p is 24 by 7 minus tan r is equal to 7 by 24 7 by 24 so just 7 into 24 is lcm so write 7 into 24 7 into 24 so here 24 into 24 576 minus 7 into 7 is 49 so 576 minus 49 so here 576 minus 50 526 it is 527 527 divided by 7 into 24 7 fours are 28 and 2 7 twos are 14 plus 2 16 so it is a 527 divided by 168 this is tan p minus tan r so like this we can find so you must concentrate at the angle so if the angle changes then opposite side adjacent side changes that you have to remember you must careful here while writing the adjacent side and opposite side so to select opposite side you have to observe the angle so for which angle you have to select opposite side that is very very important so this is the second problem in exercise 11.1 so next we have to solve third problem uh, this is third problem in exercise 11.1 see here what he is asking to find us in a right angle triangle ABC with a right angle at B in which A is equal to 24 units B equal to 25 units and angle BS is equal to theta then find cos theta and tan theta so here this is a right angle triangle he is saying 
right angle is at B so here it is at right angle and also angle B A C equal to theta this is theta B A C angle B A C is equal to theta so small a equal to 24 units he is saying so small a is nothing but length of the side which is opposite to angle a so opposite to angle a is known as small a so opposite to angle a is known as small a this is 24 units so next small b equal to 25 so opposite to angle b is small b the side which is opposite to angle b is small b it is 25 units uh, then find cos theta and tan theta is asking so in right angle triangle abc angle b equal to 90 degrees he has given small a equal to so small a is bc bc equal to 24 units small b equal to small b is ca it is 25 units uh, so now how to find ab if we find ab we can find any trigonometric ratio so according to pythagoras theorem so according to Pythagoras theorem, we have AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. So we have to find AB. So write AB square as usual. So BC square, we have BC is equal to 24. So BC square is 24 square is equal to AC square. We have AC equal to 25. So AC square is 25 square. So from this we can get a right AB square. So 24 square is 24 into 24 we get 576. So 25 square is 25 into 25 we get 625. So take 576 to the right side we get AB square is equal to 625 plus 576 becomes minus 576. So 625 minus 576 is 49. So therefore AB is equal to square root of 49. So square root of 49 is 7. So this is AB. So AB equal to 7 units. So it is nothing but a small c. So he is asking to find us cos theta and tan theta. So we have cos theta equal to. Therefore cos theta is equal to. So adjacent side to theta divided by hypotenuse. So, so adjacent side to theta that is adjacent side by hypotenuse so simply i am writing capital h for hypotenuse h means hypotenuse so adjacent side so here it is theta adjacent side to theta is a b divided by hypotenuse is c a so it is a b divided by c a a b divided by c a so this is cos theta so a b value is how much AB is equal to, we have AB is equal to 7 and AC is equal to 25. Therefore, cos theta is equal to 7 by 25. And also is asking to find as tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side by adjacent side. So, here angle is very important. Uh, so for selecting opposite side and adjacent side we have to observe the angle theta so opposite side to theta here it is theta so opposite side is bc adjacent side is ab so it is a bc by ab bc by ab so bc value is how much here 24 divided by ab value is how much 7 ab is 7 so this is tan theta cos theta equal to 7 by 25 tan theta equal to 24 by 7 <clears throat> so this is third problem in exercise 11.1 .1. so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, my name is Varakumar. Today we are going to solve a problem from 11th chapter trigonometry exercise 11.1 .1, first problem. Uh, sorry, fourth problem. So see here uh, what he has given. If cos A is equal to 12 by 13, then find sin A and tan A. Here A is less than 90 degrees he has given. 
so just uh, what k has given cos a equal to 12 by 13 it has given so what we know about cos a in terms of sides of a right angle triangle cos a equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so here uh, cos a equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse is equal to 12 by 13 it has given so it is the ratio hence uh, let adjacent side equal to 12 m m is constant here any positive number so here m is a positive number so not only m just we have to select a variable let adjacent side equal to 12 m then hypotenuse equal to 13 m then hypotenuse becomes 13 m so where m is any positive integer from the right triangle ABC here adjacent side what is the adjacent side to cos A so this is a angle A adjacent side to angle A becomes AB so here adjacent side AB equal to 12 so this is hypotenuse AC is equal to 13 M so according to Pythagoras theorem so to find sin A and tan A we require BC also if we know the lengths of all the three sides, we can find any trigonometric ratio. So here, uh, according to Pythagoras theorem, we have AB square plus BC square is equal to CA square. So now we have AB equal to 12M. So AB square becomes a 12M whole square. 12M whole square plus BC we have to find. So write BC square as usual is equal to ca is equal to 13 m so ca square is 13 m whole square so just we have to simplify 12 m whole square becomes 144 m square plus bc square right as usual is equal to 13 m whole square becomes 169 m square so now take 144 m square to the right side we get bc square is equal to here already 169 m square is there so minus 144 m square plus becomes minus is equal to 25 m square so 169 minus 144 is equal to 29 therefore we have bc is equal to square root of 25 m square so square root of 25 m square becomes 5 m 5 m so now we have all the three sides of uh, triangle ABC so now we have to find sin A sin A is equal to so how can we uh, relate uh, sin A is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so see here uh, So we have sin A is equal to opposite side to angle A divided by hypotenuse. So what is opposite side to angle A? This is angle A. Opposite side is BC. So it becomes BC divided by H is what? Hypotenuse. So AC. BC by AC here. So just BC equal to 5M. So substitute here 5M divided by AC is equal to 13M. So substitute 13M. So M M gets cancelled, we can get uh, it is 5 by 13. So sin A is equal to how much? 5 by 13. So in the same way, how to find it? tan A? So tan A is equal to. So what is the formula? Opposite side by adjacent side. So tan A is equal to opposite side to angle A divided by adjacent side to angle A. So what is opposite side to angle A? BC divided by adjacent side to angle A. What it is? AC. Uh, BC by, sorry, AB. BC by AB. So we have BC is equal to how much? BC is equal to 5M. So just I am writing 5M divided by a b is equal to how much 12 m so m m gets cancelled we get 5 by 12 how much it is 5 by 12 so just uh, cancel m m we get 5 by 12 so sin a is equal to 5 by 13 
tan a is equal to 5 by 12 so just is asking to find a sin a and a tan a so this is fourth problem so next we have to solve fifth problem uh, this is fifth problem in exercise 11.1 .1. so third and fourth are very important uh, so many times he asked for two marks uh, so just uh, very easy just you have to follow the steps uh. so see here what he has given 3 tan a is equal to 4 then find sin a and cos a so so many times it has been asked for two marks uh, important uh. so what he has given 3 tan a equal to 4 so take 3 to the right side it uh, then tan a is equal to 4 by 3 here 3 is multiplying it divides so tan a equal to 4 by 3 so but what we know about tan a tan a equal to opposite side by adjacent side which is equal to 4 by 3 has given since it is ratio let opposite side is equal to 4 m so m is constant here any positive number then if it is opposite side is 4m then adjacent side becomes 3m where m is any positive integer sum so now from right angle uh, right angled triangle abc opposite side is equal to so here uh, angle a opposite side to angle a so what is opposite side to angle a bc is opposite side to angle a so opposite side bc becomes 4a so next adjacent side so for which angle it is adjacent adjacent side to angle a so this is angle a adjacent side to angle a is a b therefore adjacent side a b equal to 3 m so we have a b equal to 3 m b c equal to 4 m to find sin a and cos a we require a c so how can we find a c so using pythagoras theorem we can find so according to pythagoras theorem a b square plus b c square equal to a c square so a square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides so that is a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square so now we have a b is equal to 3 m so a b square becomes 3 m whole square in the same way we have b c is equal to 4 m so b c square is 4 m whole square which is equal to a c square so 3 m whole square is 9 m square plus 4m whole square is 16m square which is equal to ac square so here uh, i am writing ac square is equal to so 9m square plus 16m square is 25m square so from this we can find ac is equal to square root of 25m square square root of 25m square that is 5m so now we have the lengths of all the three sides. So AC is equal to how much? 5M. So now we can find. First is asking to find a sin A. Sin A equal to. So we have sin a equal to opposite side to angle a divided by hypotenuse. So what is opposite side to angle a? BC. So BC by AC or CA. BC by AC or CA. So BC is the opposite side to angle a and AC is the hypotenuse. So we have BC is equal to how much? 4m and AC is equal to 5m. So BC equal to 4m and ac is equal to 5m so 5m m gets cancelled we get 4 by 5 4 by 5 so this is sin a value next we have to find cos a so we know cos a is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so adjacent side to which angle angle a so here it is angle a adjacent side to angle a is a b so that is a b by hypotenuse is a c again a b by a c so we have a b is equal to 3 m a c is equal to 5 m so we can get a 3 m by 5 m 
So just we have to write uh, AB is equal to 3M, AC is equal to 5M. So MM gets cancelled, we can get a 3 by 5. So cos A is equal to how much? 3 by 5. So he is asking to find a sin A, cos A. Sin A equal to 4 by 5, cos A equal to 3 by 5. So this is a fifth problem in exercise 11.1. Next we have to solve sixth problem. This is sixth problem in exercise 11.1. Uh, see here what he is asking. In triangle ABC and triangle XYZ, if angle A and angle X are acute angles such that cos A is equal to cos X, then show that angle A is equal to angle X. So it is also important so many times he asked for two marks. So see here ABC and XYZ. These two are the two triangles ABC and XYZ. So these two are the two right angled triangles. He is saying that angle A and X, these two are the acute angles he is saying. Yes, these two are the acute angles. So cos A equal to cos X. If cos A equal to cos X, then show that angle A is equal to angle X. So first we have to show that these two triangles are similar. These two are similar. If they are similar, we can say the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So see here how can we prove. So see here uh, cos A is equal to cos X he has given to us. Let it is equation number one he has given cos A equal to cos X. So we have cos A. So adjacent side by hypotenuse. So from triangle ABC. So adjacent side by hypotenuse. This is angle A. With respect to angle A adjacent side is AB. Hypotenuse is AC. So cos A equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. That is AB by AC. AB by AC. And cos x is equal to, in the same way cos x is also adjacent side to angle x by hypotenuse. In triangle x, y, z, this is a angle x. So adjacent side to angle x is x, y by hypotenuse is x, z. x, y by x, z. So let it is equation number 2. So from equations 1 and 2, since cos a equal to cos x. So instead of cos a, I am writing a, b by a, c. Instead of cos x, I am writing x, y by x, z. So we get AB by AC equal to XY by XZ from equations 1 and 2. So let AB by AC is equal to XY by XZ is equal to M. So it is a constant. So now take AC to the right side. Uh, it becomes AB is equal to M into AC. So see here. Uh, AB is equal to M into AC. In the same way. So xy by xz is also m. Take xz to the right side. Then we get xy is equal to m into xz. xy is equal to m into xz. So now I want to find the ratio of ab and xy. So that implies what we get. See here ab divided by xy is equal to ab by xy. So here AB equal to M into AC. So I am writing M into AC divided by XY is equal to M into XZ. I am writing M into XZ. So MM gets cancelled. We get AC by XZ. AC by XZ. So let it is equation number 3. So what are these? See here. AB and XY are the corresponding sides of these two triangles. AB and XY. So in the same way AC and XZ also AC and XZ are also corresponding sides. So two corresponding sides are equal. The ratio of the corresponding sides. So AB and XY. So AB by XY is equal to we have AC by XZ. So remaining two corresponding sides are BC by XYZ. So we have to find the ratio of BC and YZ using Pythagoras theorem. So how can we find a C here? I want to find the ratio of BC and YZ. BC. BC by YZ is equal to. So how can we get BC just to see here? So ABC is a right angle triangle. According to Pythagoras theorem, a square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides. 
so that is uh, ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square so we require bc so take ab square to the right side so here bc square is equal to ac square minus ab square so here bc is equal to square root of ac square minus ab square bc is equal to what square root of ac square minus ab square So instead of BC, I am writing square root of AC square minus AB square. So in the same way, so I want to find YZ also. So YZ is equal to. So using Pythagoras theorem here also, XY square plus YZ square is equal to XZ square. I am writing C here. Uh, xy square plus yz square is equal to xz square xz square so we require yz so yz square is equal to xz square minus xy square so we require only yz yz is equal to square root of xz square minus xy square square root of xz square minus xy square so instead of yz i am writing square root of xz minus xy square xz square here so square root of xz square minus xy square so again we have to simplify further so what we get see here square root of so write ac square as usual so ac square minus a b square is equal to so instead of a b what here a b is equal to m into a c so here a b equal to m into a c so a b square is there so i want to write m square and a c square m square a c square instead of a b square i am writing m square a c square so here also a right square root of right x z square as usual so x y square x y equal to what is there m x z is there so x y square becomes m square x z square m square x z square so see here uh, what we get in the numerator so a c square is common so if we take a c square as common a c square into so here 1 minus m square will be 1 minus m square so if we take a c square common here 1 is there here minus m square is there divided by so in the denominator also xz square is common if we take xz square common here 1 is there here minus m square is there so 1 is there minus m square so just i have taken common ac square so here 1 minus m square will be so here xz square i have taken common 1 minus m square will be so now see here what we get so square root of ac square right as usual into square root of 1 minus m square divided so here a square root of ac square into square root of 1 minus m square so here also square root of xz square into square root of xz square into square root of 1 minus m square so just like uh, square root of a into b is uh, square root a into square root b like that we can write. Uh, so it is gets cancelled. Uh, square root of a c square is a c. Square root of x z square is x z. So let it is equation number 4. So from equations 3 and 4. So what we get to see here. Uh, it is nothing but b c by y z equal to a c by x z here but a c by x z is equal to a b by x y so finally we can get from equations 3 and 4 so see here a b by x y is equal to a c by x z so here also a c by x z is equal to b c by y z so here we can write from equations 3 and 4 so ab by xy ab by xy is equal to what ac by xz so ab by xy is equal to ac by xz so an equation for bc by yz bc by yz is equal to ac by xz so finally we can get a ab by xy is equal to bc by yz is equal to ac by xz so see here 
so since the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal so that is uh, ab by xy is equal to bc by yz is equal to ac by xz so these are the corresponding sides the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal therefore we can write uh, triangle abc is similar to therefore triangle abc is similar to triangle xyz so if triangle abc is similar to triangle xyz therefore the corresponding angles are equal therefore angle a is equal to angle x since a and x are the corresponding angles so that implies angle a is equal to angle x so this we have to prove so show that angle a equal to angle x so like this we have to prove so just it is uh, looks like lengthy problem but if you understand clearly it is very easy so this is a sixth problem in exercise 11.1 so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with the seventh problem so thanks for watching hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math uh, my name is varak kumar uh, today we are going to solve a problem from 11th chapter trigonometry exercise 11.1 seventh problem so see here what he has given uh, cot theta is equal to 7 by 8 uh, then evaluate uh, so 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta so next second bit 1 plus sin theta by cos theta so see here uh, cot theta equal to 7 by 8 he has given so cot theta what we know about cot theta adjacent side by opposite side is equal to 7 by 8 he has given so here in right angle triangle abc so let angle a is equal to theta so then adjacent side to theta becomes ab opposite side to theta becomes bc therefore let adjacent side so this is adjacent side ab is equal to 7m since it is the ratio we have to take 7m then opposite side to theta is bc let it is 8m so if it is 7m it will be 8m so m is a positive any positive number so by using pythagoras theorem we have to find the value of ac so if we find the value of ac we can find sin theta and cos theta then after we have to substitute here so first uh, by using pythagoras theorem we know ab square plus bc square equal to ac square ab square plus bc square equal to ac square now we have to find the value of ac so see here ab square that is 7m whole square so since ab is 7m ab square is 7m whole square plus bc square bc is 8m bc square is 8m whole square a is equal to ac square so first i am writing ac square is equal to so 7m whole square becomes 49m square and 8m whole square becomes 64m square 64m square so ac square is equal to so here uh, 49 plus 64 becomes uh, 113 m square 113 m square so then we have to find the value of ac ac is equal to square root of 113 m square so we can get a square root of 113 into m so this is the value of ac so next we have to find what is there in the first bit sin theta and cos theta is there now have to find sin theta and cos theta so we know sin theta is equal to opposite side to theta by hypotenuse so opposite to opposite side to theta is bc and hypotenuse is ac so it becomes bc by ac so here bc value is how much bc equal to 8m by ac equal to square root 113 m square root 113 m so m m gets cancelled we get a sin theta is equal to 8 by square root of 113 8 by square root of 113 so this is sin theta so next we have to find cos theta is there so we have to find cos theta 
so we know cos theta equal to adjacent side to theta divided by hypotenuse so here adjacent side to theta is ab hypotenuse is ac so it becomes ab by ac so it is cos theta adjacent side is ab hypotenuse ac ab by ac so we know ab is equal to 7m so write 7m divided by ac is equal to square root 113m so write a square root 113m 113m so here m m gets cancelled we get cos theta is equal to 7 by square root of 113m so sorry cos theta equal to 7 by square root 113 so now we have to substitute sin theta and cos theta in the first one so we can get us see here how can we find so now we have to find 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta so we have sin theta equal to 8 by root 113 cos theta equal to 7 by root 113 just we have to substitute 1 plus sin theta so instead of sin theta we have to write 8 by root 113 into 1 minus sin theta 1 minus 8 by root 113 divided by 1 plus cos theta 1 plus 7 by root 113 into 1 minus cos theta 1 minus 7 by root 113 so just we have to uh, simplify it see here <coughs> so it is in the form a plus b into a minus b so a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so we get a uh, 1 square minus uh, 8 by square root 113 whole square divided by so in the denominator also same it is also in the form a plus b into a minus b so we can get a square minus b square a square minus 7 by root 113 whole square so since we have applied here a plus b into a minus b equal to So using this formula a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square we have written. So 1 square is 1 minus 8 by root 113 whole square. So 8 square becomes 64 divided by root 113 whole square becomes 113. Root 2 square gets cancelled. So here also 1 square is 1 and it becomes 49 by a root 113 whole square becomes 113 so see here uh, 1 square is 1 minus it becomes 8 square by root 113 whole square 8 square is 16 root 113 whole square is 113 so here in the denominator 1 square is 1 minus uh, it is 7 square is 49 root 113 whole square is 113 so just we have to uh, simplify here it becomes uh, uh, find else 113 minus 64 by 113 so here 113 minus 49 by 113 so just find lcm so 113 minus 64 by 113 113 minus 49 by 113 113 113 gets cancelled so here 113 minus 64 is 49 and 113 minus 49 is 64 so we get 49 by 64 so this is first bit 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta equal to how much 49 by 64 so next we have to find 1 plus sin theta by cos theta second bit uh, see here next this is second bit uh, 1 plus sin theta by cos theta so we have sin theta equal to 8 by root 113 so 1 plus 8 by root 113 divided by cos theta equal to 7 by root 113 so just to find lcm here what we get uh, square root 113 plus 8 by square root 113 divided by 7 by square root 113 so these two gets cancelled finally we get a first time rating 8 plus square root 113 divided by 7 so this is the value of 1 plus sin theta by cos theta so this is the seventh bit uh, seventh problem in exercise 11.1 next we have to solve eighth problem uh, this is eighth problem in exercise 11.1 uh, see here what he is asking 
in a right angle in a right angle triangle abc right angle is at b if tan a is equal to square root 3 then find the value of sin a cos c plus cos a sin c so next second bit cos a cos c minus sin a sin c so he has given tan a equal to root 3 in right angle triangle abc so see here how can we find so tan a equal to root 3 has given but what we know about tan a tan a equal to opposite side by adjacent side so that is a root 3 so what is there in the denominator denominator is 1 so 1 is there in the denominator root 3 by 1 it can be written as root 3 by 1 so now see here abc is a right angled triangle right angle is at b so it is about angle a tan a is equal to root 3 so here it is angle a so tan a is what opposite side to angle a divided by adjacent side to angle a so here what is the opposite side to angle a bc is the opposite side to angle a so in right angle triangle abc let a opposite side what is opposite side bc so let it is a uh, root 3 into m so it is uh, since it is a ratio we have to take root 3 into some constant uh, m is a, any real any positive number here so bc is equal to root 3 into m then adjacent side so adjacent side to angle a is equal to ab it becomes 1 into m is m so now using pythagoras theorem we have to find the value of ac so we have ab is equal to how much m bc is equal to root 3 m so using these two values we have to find the length of the side of ac if we find the length of the side of ac we can find a sin a sin c whatever it may be any trigonometric ratio we can find if we know the lengths of all the three sides of right angled triangle so now using pythagoras theorem we can write uh, a square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides so here uh, ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so ac we have to find the uh, length of ac so see here now we have to substitute we know a b and b c values so just we have to substitute so a c square is equal to so a b is how much root 3 into m so it becomes root 3 m whole square plus b c square b c is equal to m b c square becomes m square so just as i have substituted the value of a b and b c so now root 3m whole square becomes 3m square and already here m square is there 3m square plus m square it is equal to 4m square so ac square is equal to 4m square therefore ac is equal to how much ac is equal to square root of 4m square so it is equal to 2m square root of 4m square is equal to how much 2m so now we have a b b c and a c so now we have to find sin a cos c plus cos a sin c uh, uh, see here uh, what are there in first bit uh, sin a cos c plus cos a sin c so we have to find sin a cos a and sin c cos c so first we have to find sin a so sin a equal to what opposite side by hypotenuse so what is opposite side opposite side to angle a so opposite side to angle a is bc divided by hypotenuse is ac bc by ac so opposite side is bc hypotenuse is ac so we have bc is equal to root 3m and ac is equal to 2m so m m gets cancelled we have we get a root 3 is a sin a is equal to root 3 by 2 so just uh, m m gets cancelled we get a root 3 by 2 sin a equal to root 3 by 2 so in the same way we have to find cos a cos so cos a equal to what adjacent side by hypotenuse so here adjacent side to angle a is a b 
hypotenuse is AC, so it becomes AB by AC. So we have AB is equal to M, AC is equal to 2M. So it is M divided by 2M. So M, M gets cancelled, we can get 1 by 2. So cos A is equal to 1 by 2. So next we require uh, sin C and cos C. So we have to find uh, sin C and cos C. Sin C equal to again opposite side to angle C divided by H. Just you have to write very carefully here. Here angle has been changed to C. So now we have to select uh, this is angle C. Now we have to write uh, opposite side becomes AB. So opposite side to angle C here. Opposite side to angle C. What it is AB by hypotenuse is AC. So just you have to check what is the angle. So here angle C is there. So opposite side to angle C is AB. But whereas here sin A equal to opposite side. Opposite side to angle A is BC. But opposite side to angle C is AB. So here we have to write AB divided by hypotenuse is AC. So this is very important opposite side to angle C is AB by AC. So we have AB equal to M, AC is equal to 2M. So that implies M divided by 2M. So again M, M gets cancelled, we can get 1 by 2, 1 by 2. So this is a sin C. So next we have to find cos C also. So cos C is equal to what adjacent side by hypotenuse but here adjacent side to what angle C. So this is angle C adjacent side to angle C is BC. BC by hypotenuse is AC. BC by AC. So here uh, while writing opposite side and adjacent side you must have very careful uh, for which angle we have to select uh, just to, we have to see observe the angle. So here angle C is there. So adjacent side to angle C, this is angle C, adjacent side is BC, hypotenuse is AC. So we have BC is equal to root 3M by AC is equal to 2M. So M, M gets cancelled, we get a root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2. So now we have sin A cos A sin C cos C. So just by substituting here we can get a, uh, now have to substitute. This is the first one sin A cos C plus cos A sin C. So just you have to substitute the values. Sin A equal to root 3 by 2 and cos C is equal to root 3 by 2. So sin A cos C root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2. So right plus cos a is equal to 1 by 2 and sin c is also 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 so just we have to simplify so these two root 3 into root 3 is 3 2 into 2 is 4 so it is 3 by 4 plus 1 into 1 1 2 into 2 4 so it is a 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 So just uh, root 3 into root 3 is uh, 3, 2 into 2 is 4, plus 1 into 1 is 1, 2 into 2 is 4. So it becomes a uh, find LCM, we can get uh, 3 plus 1 by 4. So 3 plus 1 is 4 by 4, which is equal to 1. So this is uh, <coughs> uh, sin A cos C plus cos A sin A equal to 1. So this is the first bit. Next we have to find the value of the second bit. Second one. So this is second bit cos A cos C minus sin A sin C. So we have all the values, cos A is equal to how much, cos A equal to 1 by 2 into cos C is equal to how much, root 3 by 2 minus sin A is equal to how much, root 3 by 2 into 
sin c is equal to how much? 1 by 2. So just uh, see here, uh, multiply. The, multiply the numerators and the denominators. It is uh, root 3 by 4. 1 into root 3 is root 3, 2 into 2 is 4 minus here also root 3 into 1 is root 3, 2 into 2 is 4. So root 3 by 4 minus root 3 by 4 gets cancelled, we can get a 0. So this is the second bit, uh, cos a cos c minus sin a sin c is equal to how much? 0. So this is the 8th problem in exercise 11.1. Uh, there are totally 8 problems. Uh, we have completed all the eight problems uh, uh, next uh, we have to learn about uh, trigonometric values for some specific angles uh, so that's all today's class uh, thanks for watching